is the three body, an FPGA based triple digital oscillator. It has three oscillators designed to be used independently like three analog oscillators, or in ratios together as an FM synthesis toolkit with phase modulation, true zero linear FM, and exponential FM. It has many outputs to combine as a stereo pair, and many ways to cross-modulate itself as the heart of a synth voice or as a freaked out noise box. It can also track external signals to be used at audio rate as a harmonizer or triple frequency divider and multiplier, or below audio rate as a tempo locked LFO or clock divider and multiplier. Each oscillator's behavior is defined by three switches, ratio mode, FM mode, and range. In ratio mode, an oscillator will track another oscillator with a ratio set by the molt and div knobs and CV control over either the multiplication or the division set by the range switch. The FM mode will choose between linear modulation, linear FM, and phase modulation. If an external signal is plugged into the sync input, then the oscillator will track that signal. If not, then the outside oscillators are normalized to track the inner oscillator. The inner oscillator is not normalized to track anything. With the right oscillator set to ratio mode, if the div control is set to 1, then the molt will go through the overtone series up to 16. If we set the div ratio to 2, you move in half of those steps. Same with 3, 4, and so on. If you send CV to the molt, you will find things that are kind of like strange scales by changing the div ratio. Now we're sending CV to both of the outside oscillators and getting some sort of strange pinball stuff. If we bring up our linear FM, gets a little more interesting. So now instead of listening to the outside oscillators, let's listen to the inner oscillator and bring up the phase index. We can hear the division changes, but they read a little bit more like timbre changes. It's also interesting with some cross-modulation of the phase around the outside. So now let's also listen to the outside oscillators. Only listening to the sine waves, but it still gives a pretty thick sound. A note here that the sine and cosine outputs are set to um, be phase modulated in opposite directions giving a large stereo field. To illustrate that, let's set the left oscillator to free and low, so it's just a free-moving LFO, and set it to phase modulate the center oscillator. Now with the right oscillator in a ratio mode, let's remove the CV for now. We can get some sort of stereo effects. Note that we have another phase related output pair the saw and co saw.
So now we have a fairly thick drone listening from the COSA with an unsynced LFO on the left side and a ratio on the right. Let's CV the ratio. Bring up the outside oscillators a little bit. Now maybe go back to the sine and cosine. What we have here is essentially a two-op FM voice with a free-running LFO that is also being modulated by one of the FM voices at audio rate, which produces interesting rhythmic effects. Here it is without the ratio modulation again. Let's talk about modulation normalization. The three body is set up so that the outside oscillators modulate the phase of the inner oscillator. They will also modulate phase of each other, and the cross phase modulation can be pretty gnarly. The uh, inner oscillator is set to modulate the FM on the outer oscillators. The phase on the inner oscillator and the FM on the outer oscillator can be controlled with CV. So that's FM over the phase. And now let's modulate the FM index instead. and then put a little bit of cross-modulation in there. Note that cross-modulation, especially between the inner and outer oscillators, can rapidly lead to noise <laughs> and rather pretty If you aren't looking to get into noisy territories, it's generally recommended to use very little cross-modulation. So now let's talk about free mode. So in free mode, this is much like having three separate analog oscillators, and they will respond to um, CV in the volts per octave. If it's unquantized, you'll get classic FM out of it, or if you feed volts per octave, you can get a sequence. And they can all be controlled separately. Or you can send CV to the transpose input. Any oscillator in free mode will use that volts per octave CV. We can try doing something like tuning to kind of a arbitrary chord by ear. 
and we can send CV to the transpose and play that chord with our CV. We could also use modulation within that chord. Let's do a quick demonstration of the modulation modes just using the right oscillator and the sine wave output here. All right, so now we're in free and ratio mode. Linear modulation. And the linear modulation will go quite deep, which is somewhat unusual. And now, free running. Exponential FM. Linear FM. Let's put some CD the center oscillator. You can see quite a difference in waveforms between the exponential and linear FM. The linear FM almost looks like a wave folder. So now for a more musical example, sort of. <laughs> So with the first oscillator, we built a kick drum just um, using a boundary. So we've got an envelope input coming into the FM sent to exponential. So our center oscillator is getting volts per octave and it's sent to free. And maybe let's bring up the phase index from our third oscillator here. Now we have sort of a serviceable two-op FM and kick drum happening just on the three body using actually three different boundaries. Let's also CV the ratio of that third oscillator. Let's bring up some phase modulation between the kick and the outside oscillator.
Thanks so much.